Hans Mezger, the legendary Porsche engineer, has passed away. Hello, I'm Sean, and welcome to the latest round of Porsche news from your favorite Porsche channel, Ren11. Today's episode is dedicated to the man whose mind and hands created one of the world's most infamous engines, Hans Mezger, who sadly passed away on Wednesday. Mezger was a gentleman who made a name for himself as a brilliant engine designer, not only for road going Porsches, but race car engines too. Born 18th of November 1929 in Besekheim, Baden-Württemberg, Mezger found it difficult to get a placement at university. After World War II, young soldiers were given preferential enrollment opportunities into universities, so the young Mezger had to wait a little while. So before he started mechanical engineering at what is now known as University of Stuttgart, he took a year's internship learning machining and welding, preparing him for what was to come. Mezger graduated uni in 1956 and had numerous job offers from a number of businesses. Now remember, this was a time where there was huge economic growth in Germany. However, there was only one brand he wanted to work for. That's right, Porsche. I mean, who wouldn't? Mezger was inspired by the 356, so much so in fact that he ignored the 28 other job offers. Now that's love right there. Mezger mentioned, so I applied, got an interview and the company offered me a job in diesel engine development. Until then, I didn't even know that Porsche had such a thing, but I envisioned working with sports cars. They showed understanding, and that's how I started in the calculations department at Porsche. He gained his initial experience creating the four-cylinder Type 547 motor, which ended up in the Porsche 550. Now, this eventually led him into Porsche's F1 program in 1960, before deciding what would be his gift to all Porsche lovers the world over. That's right, the flat six boxer engine. The engine was a naturally aspirated six cylinder dry sump two litre featuring single overhead camshaft valve gears and two valves per cylinder. Had 128 wild Shetlands and 128 pounds of foot torque at 4,600 RPMs. His creation ended up powering the 911 and the whole reason why Ren 11 exists. The big reason for the adding of the cylinders and making it dry sump was because of the 356. Mezger had stated that the 56 had lots of problems when cornering with the wet sump, so Mezger took what he knew from race car engines and implemented it on a road car, something we will see more of later. Even though this would give Mezger legendary status, that wasn't enough. Oh no, Porsche knew they had a genius in the ranks from here on in, and in 1965 was promoted to head of Department for Race Car Design, or Construction Rennfahrzeuge in German, by a chap you may have heard, Ferdinand Pich the man responsible for growing Volkswagen Group to become the biggest car manufacturer in the world. Clearly Ferdinand knows talent when he sees it. With Mezger at the helm, Porsche knew their motorsport undertaking would be in the safest of hands. Mezger developed another legendary motor in the guise of the Type 753, one and a half liters of flat eight goodness placed in the 804 Formula One car. Knowing his hands grace this car, his knowledge of space frame cars, running flat motors with chubby rubber would be instrumental for the years ahead. And that base idea was a principle in the construction of what would become the most legendary, potent and fastest cars around Le Mans for years to come, the 917. Mezger was responsible for not only the construction of the vehicle, but also that impressive flat 12 engine powering it. The lump was as powerful as it was reliable. Proper engineering, that. The car had many successes in its time and still holds the Le Mans lap record to this day. As times changed, so did the 917, and it went on to can -Am success in 73 and 74 with a revised design and big power flat 12, courtesy of turbocharging. With turbos becoming the rage in race cars, Mezger knew the benefits it would hold for road cars, and before Porsche had a chance to even say G-Series, the 911 Turbo was released. With anything Mezger touched turning to gold, a certain Ron Dennis from McLaren approached Stuttgart's finest and asked to develop a small displacement V6 Turbo to conform to the new Formula One rigs. Mezger's mind and engineering know-how came up trumps again, creating the TAG Porsche TTE P01. This mad V6 motor pushed 650 crazy shires in race trim and 800 demonic dales in quality trim out of one and a half liters. Mega. And let's not hide the fact that it made McLaren hugely successful, winning Nicky Lauda the Drivers' Championship in 84 and Alan Prost the same in 85 and 86 and bagging Constructors' Championships in 84 and 85. Porsche even stuck the TTE into a 930. It made it a monster. He also had great success in the 80s with Group C, initially created a 956 chassis, 
Porsche's first monocoque construction and its engine. After 1982, Mezger concentrated on just the engine, but again, the 956 and later the 962 continued to be huge successes in IMSA and Group C. To this day, people use the Mezger name to differentiate between the regular 911's motors and the GT and turbo engines. After all, the blocks were based on the Group C cars he designed. The greatest of them was in the 97.2 GT3 RS 4 litre pushing 493 brakes. That's 123 horses per litre in a road car. Mezger's name, even before last week, should be held in as high regard as Giotto Bizzarini, Keith Duckworth, or Tadek Merrick. A genius who in his 37 years of work with Porsche made more than just engines and race car chassis. He gave us sounds that are visceral as they are exquisite. Our work on wheels, and inspired so many people to chase their dream of owning a car with a real heart born from the race paddock. We can keep his memory alive by driving our 911s, GTs, and turbo cars hard, ensuring the legacy continues for as long as we can drive a combustion engine cars on the road. The end is only the beginning, as the humble gentleman's rise to legendary status is cemented for eternity. Thank you, Mr. Mezger. Thank you all for watching Ren11 News this week. Coming next on the Ren11 YouTube channel, pre-recorded live interviews with key people from the Porsche community. Those live interviews are recorded on Instagram Live, so find us on Instagram at Ren11 and give us a follow to watch them when they're fresh, full and uncut. We will see you next week for more Porsche news, so remember to subscribe and click that bell button to be notified of the next video. Be safe, be good and much love folks.